Hi and welcome to 1903 Productions. I'm Tom Jones and in this video we're going to try and fit this Harley Davidson solo seat to my 2019 Harley Davidson Heritage Classic. The channel for the latest in motorcycle news, views and tech reviews. Hi. Awfully sorry about the uh, noise in the background you can probably hear, but the neighbour's cutting the lawn. But anyway, I think we'll best just crack on, as I want to try and get on with this uh, putting the solo seat on my heritage. Now, the solo seat uh, comes with a base plate. So this base plate will go underneath this seat. Um, now, according to Harley Davidson, the reason why this seat doesn't fit a heritage or a deluxe uh, it's due to this base plate. Now I have actually seen somebody manage to fit this to a deluxe so I've went ahead and, and bought it. Um, I've since then found out that there might actually be more of an issue on the heritage because of the external shock reservoir uh, that's underneath the seat might be in the way and I might have to relocate it potentially maybe behind here um, but we'll just get on with the air uh, conversion and see how it goes. So first thing we want to do is just take these two bolts off and we can get the seat off. Okay so that was simple, seat off, here's the external reservoir which I think might be might cause as an issue but essentially I'll, I'll get onto the instructions in a bit but this plate is uh, somehow meant to Meant to go down there, so uh, I'll get on reading the instructions and we'll see how we go. Okay, so uh, the instructions the first thing we've got to do is remove one, two, three, four, five, and six bolts. Now you can see the issue we're going to have on the heritage here. This, this is the external reservoir, and this is where you screw up your or down your preload now this if I go around to the other side you can see it's bolted to this plate that's going to be removed so this is where this is going to sort of this mount here and an external reservoir is going to be sort of floating and not screwed down so what I've heard is that maybe we can relocate it under here so I'll also take this off so undo these six bolts and I'll take this off as well and uh, we'll just see where we go from there. Okay, so unfortunately it's spitting with rain a little bit but we'll crack on. So the first thing we got to do is put this front mounting bracket onto here and then screw it, bolt it on with the same screws that we, we took off. So I'll just put that on now. You can see I've taken all the plates off and um, that external reservoir is just floating there at the moment so we'll get this piece on okay so it actually comes with with its new shiny button head screws that take a 530 tooths so I'll just tighten these four bolts up and that'll be the plate on okay now for the next part it looks like we put this bracket back on it was a bit unclear in the instructions and these posts bolt back on on each side here uh, they bolt down in this hole and there's a kind of like a, a, a locating tab on the bottom of the bracket here which goes into the other hole that's already on this bracket so we'll just bolt these in with the bolts provided and, and we'll see how we go. Um, I have detached this so I'll just leave it around here to see how we get on. Okay so I've, I've bolted these in now what I had to do was just loosen off these two bolts. It wasn't in the instruction because I was actually catching the side there. So I'm going to have to put a little bit of touch up paint on there. So I'd recommend just loosening these two off a bit and it gives you a bit more space to get your, your Allen key or your, your Allen socket down into there. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do is put the, uh, the springs onto the bottom of the seat. Now a little bit tricky, so I'd recommend a long Allen bolt. Um, what we need to do is put on the smaller uh, sort of end of the helical spring, 
Let's put a washer th inside and we'll get, oops, and then a washer on the outside and then we bolt it to the most, the rearmost hole. This is hole A on the instructions. Is that doing it now? That's, that's much better. We've got it. Got the thread there. Just tighten it off. Check the other one. There we go. All done. Okay, and the final step here is to just put this grommet on the end, just slides in very simply, and there we go. Okay, so the next step is to attach these brackets to the base plate. Um, so there's just two bolts and a nut. I'll just put the bolt through the top, nut underneath. one just loosely done other side one through the top insert the bracket nut on the bottom should keep it looking tidy on top there we go and I'll just tighten those up a bit okay now something else I want to do is is pull this tab out here that's retaining this cable because this cable is actually going to have to root just to the side and come down the side here because the bracket you know fits flush up against there so I'll just pop this out should just take a good tug right so the next thing we've got to do is fit the base plate down on here now just putting it on roughly I think we might actually be able to keep this reservoir here so I've bolted it back on and uh, we'll see how we go so we just put the uh, the base plate in place a um, bit of a stretch to get it onto them but they, they will go down onto the posts but you can probably see here that um, you know it needs to go behind these rear supports that hold your rear rear mug guard on um, so I'm going to loosen these two bolts either side well one at a time one side at a time and uh, just see if I can get this in place I've uh, put the rear reservoir back on so hopefully we'll have clearance so let's see how we get on so I put the base plate on well, what I found is you need it's difficult routing this this cable that goes to the fender which see I can got the support brackets off at the moment or unbolted so try and route this through like this and that'll enable you to when we're putting the supports back on to route it nicely through the side so see how we go and there we have the base plate all on you can see I've, I've routed the cable around the side and, and up out the corner so that all sits nicely across there didn't have to relocate the uh, reservoir you can see the uh, banjo bolt going into the reservoir just behind there got the rear fender bolted on you might have been able to squeeze it and get get these past but I tried to make it as easy for myself as I could probably be quite difficult getting inside here you could just see there I don't know if you can see let me see if I can put the light on um, just see the bolt there which is to increase your preload I may have a go see how awkward that is to if I'm carrying a pillion on the back to increase the preload but there's the base plate on so the next thing to do is pop these two copper bushings on now I've actually put some copper grease on there because this is what lifts the seat up and down so you just pop them in the grease always holds them in place as well and then this bracket with the Harley sign down fits on here and then we just pop the bolt through and tighten it up so as you can see that's the clevis bracket attached to the uh, front mounting bracket so we're ready to get the seat bolted on well I have the seat on but just before I show you I just want to um, see if this socket for 
you know, lo tightening up your preload. It doesn't quite fit in because this bracket's in the way. But what I have found is a nine millimeter spanner like this will actually go in there. In fact, no, eight mil side, eight mil side will go in there and you can just about get enough to slowly tighten up your preload if you have to. Um, I might look at some other alternatives, um, maybe something flexible um, and you'll be able to, you can actually get at your, your preload. Okay, so let's have a look what the seat looks like. And there we are, sort of bobber seat on the Heritage.